All right, fighthype.com here with the man who trains the number one fighter pound for pound, Terrence Crawford, Mr. Bo Mack, Brian McIntyre. What's, What's going on, Bo Mack? What's word, baby? How you doing? Man, uh, you know, you're hearing Kell Brooks say he's coming with everything. He, he sees himself getting a knockout or even making Terrence surrender on the stool. You think this guy is really coming with everything, Bo oh, Mack? He's definitely going to come with it. him or anybody else going to fight Terrence because, I mean, if you win, you shit, you on top of the world, you know, that's just, that's hitting the lottery. But um, all that, he say what he gonna say, it, it, really, it won't mean nothing, it won't mean nothing. You know, Terrence, he, when he was talking with Andre Ward, he said, if, if I take your best shot and I, I could take it fine, I'm coming and I'm turning it into more of a war. Do you think that happens at some point in this fight or, or Kel doesn't land the right hand to make, you know? Uh, you know, we just gotta go in there and see, you know, see what he gonna bring to the table, you know how he's throwing the right hand, because he got different ways he'd like to throw his right hand. So, you know, whatever best way he throws his right hand, Terrence take it, and you know, of course, you know, Terrence gonna come back, you know, with his left hand or right hand or combinations or whatever the case gotta be. But um, he definitely gonna push his ass back. Mm. Is, is this the first guy that Terrence is facing that has the same athleticism as him or no? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. It was some more guys, uh, you know, what's name was kind of athletic. Then. Lundy. Dundee yeah. and uh, what's uh, Diaz? Diaz, you know. Benavides was that, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, it, was, it was pretty good, you know, but a lot of people don't give him no credit, so. And uh, it, it's just wait and see. Just wait and see. How much do you think Brooke got, has left right now? Is he the same fighter he was when he beat Sean Porter? Uh, no, he's not. You know, he been beat up twice, and, and um, uh, he, you can see it, but. He, he, you can't never tell where a fighter's heart is at. And the way he's been talking for the like, last month and a half, he, I feel like that he's going to bring the best what he got. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that, you know, older age experience that he's, he can be better in some ways than he he's was? He's that much older than Terrence. And uh, uh, experience-wise, you know, I can't really see it. You know, Terrence has got some great experience, too. And he got some rounds in there, too. And been in some good fights, too. So... See the thing about it is the thing about it between them two. He has tasted defeat twice. He has gave given up twice. Terrence has never given up and they're always in, you know, conquer whatever you need to conquer. There's some fighters that just won't quit no matter what. You know, some guys literally even die in the ring before they quit. Um, is there anything you could ever see in the ring that would ever make Terrence quit? No, shit no. That's not even a question. You should be able to ask me. <laughs> For real. Other fighters talking about it. Otherwise, well, it, w it wouldn't be a thought in my mind. <laughs> well, see, we we don't we don't think about it. And we don't talk about it because our heart is going in there to win, not to fucking quit. Mm -hmm. You can think about quitting. If you think about quitting, you might as well not even walk in my gym. Do you feel, you know, talking X's and O's that that Brook can be off balance at times when he when he uh, lets his best punches go? He could be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, it all depends on in, in the fight where he at in the fight, you know. So you know, as you look at him, sometimes you know he, he do throw some wild right hands and some some wild uppercuts from way out, and he do get off balance. But you know, you, you never can tell or know until he get in there and fight that actual fighter. Is is that something? Like I, I know so many of the old school coaches from the Midwest, they love balance and just no matter what you do, you gotta have perfect balance. Yeah, you gotta balance. have your balance, man. You ain't got your balance, you fuck. Your legs and your hands <laughs> gotta work together. It's called rhythm, rhythm and balance. You think this this fight will still it'll send a message to the Pacquiao's and to the Spences? Oh, definitely that. Cause I I know a lot of guys just hoping Terrence lose and all that, but when it's Terrence dominate, bro. It's gonna just send a clear message saying, "Listen, I'm I am the best pound for pound fighter in the world. I'm the best 147 pounder in the world. And y'all might just get your ass up off those belts. Let me go and count my business. Y'all go on back to where y'all was at, and let me go on right off in the sunset as an undisputed. Is he at 33? weight champion, <laughs> the people's champion of the world, of the world, Craig." Of the world. Top flight. <laughs> Top flight. <laughs> at, at 33, how much longer is he going to be this damn good at the peak of his powers? With, with, with his... Uh... <laughs> <laughs>
with uh with uh <laughs> I just got like, I'm looking, I'm laughing at Bud. Was he telling you to hurry up? No, because he's looking at the video. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Hey, he, dude, with, with the lifestyle that Terrence lived, he got he got he got some years left in him. You know, this guy just he just disciplined. He's disciplined. He's very disciplined about his, his craft. And he takes it very seriously. You get guys like that, man. You know, I you know who you remind me of, like a marvelous hacker, you know, somebody like that or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Leonard, you know what I'm saying? Those old style guys, them guys from the old old days, the throwback guys that get up in the morning, regardless if, if you know they don't got a fight coming up, getting up running every morning or every other morning, getting their mouths in, putting, staying, staying in the gym three or four days a week, you know, coming in, not even working on his craft, but he helped somebody else. He remind, that's who he reminds me of. And he stays in shape, he stays around his weight class. So they don't have to struggle or do nothing like that to, to uh, get the weight off. And so when fight time comes, it's about preparing for the fighter and not trying to fuck with some goddamn stupid ass weight when the weight should have been off. Mm. It shouldn't even never got on there anyway. Hmm. More. Probably more Hagler than Leonard personality, role wise, right? He, oh yeah, yeah, he's more. Just mean. That motherfucker just mean, man. I'm you. Is he? Fuck yeah. He is he actually? Uh, no, he's not mean. His uh, personality is not mean. But once he get into, he turn that switch on in boxing. Well, this a rap for whoever. So I, I, I do like Kilbrook talking all that shit. You keep talking that shit, young fella. You get fucked up. <laughs> hey, Bomac too, man. Just gotta ask you about Errol's fight with Danny. How do you see that fight going, Bomac? I don't care about that fight, man. I don't care about that fight. I don't care. I don't care. They they fight in a, in a barnyard or uh, they fight in a, in a phone booth. I don't give a crying corn's ass about that fight. Don't matter. Let me just squeeze just one more out of it for, in that fight. Do you think Errol will try and walk him down or because Danny's got that big left hook and he'll fight more? I don't care about that fight. I don't care if you walk him down. I don't care if they dance in there like two little ballerinas. I don't care. My focus is Carol Brooke getting his ass whooped by Terrence Crawford. Okay. And la lastly, Bo Mack, do any of these young guns remind you of Terrence? Is there any fighter coming up that reminds you of Terrence Crawford? Of course, Stevenson, man. That motherfucker is just mean as shit. He can pour it on when he want to. He can, he can take off when he want to. He can dominate when he want to. He can walk him down when he want to. It's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to even know the kid he, when he was an amateur. All the way up until now, and it's an honor to know his coaches, his managers, all of them. It's an honor to know those cats, man. But that little motherfucker bad, man. I just saw him spar yesterday. That motherfucker yeah. bad, dude. Yeah, man. He's, he's, <laughs> they doing a great job. They doing a great job with that, dude. He's a pro's pro. Yeah, fuck yeah. Like Terrence, right, like Terrence, right. Oh, yeah, him mm -hmm. and Good friends, too. Always on that damn game together and shit, man. And, and, and that's what I like, you know. Rubbing off, Terrence rubbing off on him, and Shakur rubbing off. You know, just keep Terrence young and they constantly going back at each other. That's what the, that's what you need, man. That's what you need. And somebody gonna come along and, and challenge Shakur just like Shakur be challenging Terrence. Somebody gonna come along and challenge Shakur to keep him better and keep him great like he is. Trust me, somebody's gonna come. Thank you, Bomac. Can't no wait for can't wait for fight night. No worries. Yep.